Hi guys, this is an unboxing video of 10 packages I've had in the post as the thumbnail shows. So, Mr. Knife will be making a big appearance in this video. First up is this package. I'm not going to show my address. These are mainly video game, retro video games, and DVDs and Blu rays. So, let's get into these. I, have, I've, I know what I've ordered, but I haven't got a clue what's come. So, let's get back into this. Well, this is a PlayStation 1 game. Blue. Bubble wrap, I can always use bubble wrap. I can always use bubble wrap. Get into this. A bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble. Right. Keep the bubble wrap. And this is Batman Forever, the arcade game for PlayStation 1. Comes. Without and in the front inlay card comes with the book, comes with a disc, Batman Forever. Got white marks but no scratches. It's got white marks but no scratches, but does not have the front inlay card. Many of these games I get don't have a front inlay card. I don't know why. There's a big got big old bin scrap big cut all the way down the case as well. But you expect PlayStation 1 games to be in crap condition, especially through the post. Didn't say that the inlay card was missing, but hey, don't remember. Next up, another one. Let's have a look. Here's the knife again. Cut through this big boy. Oh, there's a note in here. It's another PlayStation game. this oh it's just a delivery note so I'm gonna sort off and this is Batman and Robin old school Batman franchise the old school Batman franchise is not from Batman Begins but the earlier ones this one is the actual Arnold Schwarzenegger Batman and again the case has got a big blooming rip all the way across the front there oh and the bottom of the case is missing there stick your finger in but at least this one's got its inlay card oh and it was actually smashed there got the book well the catalogue of all games I'm not interested in that as i'm interested in the condition of the disc batman and robin disc Oh, there's a few scratches, but mainly finger marks. I can get cleaned up, no problem. But I wish they would state that these cases are smashed. There. I paid nine ninety nine for that, and it's smashed a bit. I'll be making a note of that. I still will be getting negative feedback because it wasn't. It was classed as new, nearly not ripped a bit. This one is a small package, so I think I know what this is. Just a nice straight through. Yep, cartridge. And that is the Game Boy version of the original 1989 Batman. It's not the Adam West version, but this is the Michael Keaton version. I love this game on the Spectrum, so I can't wait to check it out on the Game Boy. Next up is a big box, let's have a look at what this is. Alright, I'm going to have my address, so let's get this this way. Just a knife in to get rid of all the sticky tape. Knife. This is a VHS, I think. Yep. I'm just starting to collect this label. This was a label that did a lot of VHS in the old days of the last few years of VHS. 
they brought out a lot of films now a lot of them were on copy DV, uh, VHS and that is on the Apex label Kingdom of the Spider with William Shatner this film has recently been shown on the horror channel in widescreen now I've got no idea if this is actually in widescreen or what the quality is like all I know is it's on the Apex label And the Apex label has PG, PG, Parental Guidance, but when you open it up, way and behold, it is actually an 18. So God knows why they've got, oh, sorry, wrong thing, PG certificate there, and it's, it's actually it's actually imprinted in the cover there PG it's not sticker it's actually on the cover PG parental guidance that means 11 year olds then when you get the tape when you get the tape it's an 18 certificate which is adults only and that is more than what America have 18 is the equivalent to an American NC 17 have to check that one out so either it's a PG and they've got the it's either a PG and they've put the wrong certificate they've put the wrong certificate on the tape or they put the wrong certificate on the box Kingdom of the Spiders that's my second Apex film I've got more I've ordered that I haven't they won't be in this selection yet this is another VHS I'm not giving out the makers because I bought these on eBay. This is another Apex film I'm watching back in the day. And that is The Marriage of Miria Braun. It's like a, a wartime film. Maria is married to wartime bombs for Germany. After half a day and one whole night, her husband Herman goes off to the Russian front, leaving herself to be a widow. Maria takes up with a black American soldier, but Herman returns and finding them in bed, kills the American. Approximately 116 minutes, and it's the Apex, and it's a 15 certificate. So let's open it up. And way and behold again. It clearly states 15. 15. But the tape says it's an 18. So is it the same mistake as the spider one? And it is a 15? Or is it an 18? And they've got the wrong certificate on it. That seems to be a trend. I'm sure it is supposed to be a 15 because I remember seeing this film years ago and I'm sure it's a 15. Alright, next up, the one. Mr. Knife. This is a Mega Drive game and it is Batman Returns. This was the second boot, second film in the four. With Michael Keaton and Danny DeVito comes with no booklet but has the cartridge in good condition Batman the cartridge in good condition never played this game might be shite might be good I don't know give it a go Next up is an Amazon, so this must be a Blu-ray, so I think I've only bought Blu-rays off Amazon, uh, rip it open, yep, and this is Charles Bronson's Hard Times 
on Eureka Blu-ray. This is not a Twilight Time version. I have the Twilight Time version in my collection. And this is the UK version, the Eureka version. I thought I'd show my support to Eureka. So I bought this. America's Cinema's premium action here, blah, blah, Water Hill. Presented here for a new 4K restoration. Let's have a look at the special features. New 4K digital restoration, uncompressed mode, sound, yeah. Subtitles, yes. A new, in, a new interview with co writer, director Walter Hill. A new interview with producer Lawrence Gordon. A new interview with composer Barry Rosson. Experts from a 1984 interview with Walter Hill at the National Theatre in London. Original trailer, 20 page booklet. So this has more special features than the American version. The American version, I believe, just had maybe an auto commentary and a soundtrack only. This has actually got interviews from the director, the co-writer and the producer. We'll have to take a look at that in another video. It must well be in a few videos, this will be in my new Charles Bronson collection update that I'll be doing in a few days. And yeah, well, I can't wait to crack open this. I hope the picture quality is as good as the Twilight Time version. And this is actually better than the Twilight version, it has more special features. I'll jump this big one here. This big box. Let's have a look at what's in here. Slice it. It feels like there's loads of bubble wrap in there. I'll cut it so far and rip, okay, yes. rip open the plastic mailer to reveal loads of bubble wrap. My favourites. You can never get enough bubble wrap. It shows the person actually cares. Not to shove it in a mailer and hope for the best. So I can always use this cover up again. Maybe not that piece. Right, let's have a look. Christ, there's loads of it. I'll definitely be getting used again. Right, two Apex labels for my collection The Northville Cemetery Massacre. I've seen this when it first came out on the PEX. And Women in Cages, a PEX label. And these are PEX labels, are low budget label. A lot of them were re released on copy on the, on the dying days of VHS. Let's have a look. The Northville Cemetery Massacre is an 18. And yes, it's an 18 on the tape. The only one that seems to be proper 18. There's a note in here. Video heaven, rare videos, DVDs, memorabilia. Thank you for your purchase. Please visit Video Heaven eBay auctions. Yeah, I'll give them a shout out. Video Heaven. There's Video Heaven. Rare videos, DVDs, and memorabilia. Just visit their website at the bottom of this paper. And then there's Women in Cages, women's prison film. We all like them, don't we, guys? The women in Cages. Now, I like these big boxes. I don't like cell throughs because cell throughs, cell throughs in small boxes are made on crap tape that don't last. Big box X rentals are made to last, they're made on better tape. Does they get played more? These, I believe, are from the late 1980s. So these are at least 18, 19, these are at least 25 years, 25 to 30 years old, these tapes. Can't wait to show them. Right, so next out is a music magpie. So let's rip that open. Don't leave us a knife for this. And this is a DVD. 
And this is Lou Diamond Phillips and Scott Glenn. This is a Region 1 DVD, Extreme Justice. There's a young Lou Diamond Phillips there. Scott Glenn. I seen this on YouTube and thought I liked the film, so I thought I'd get it. It's only available on Region 1 in the UK. It's 96 minutes, it doesn't say if it's widescreen or full screen or what. It's bound to be a cheap shit full screen for the minimum release. But I like the film. Extreme Justice, Blue Diamond Phillips. And then there seems to be two in here. So let's slice this open very, very carefully. Very carefully. And it is. Oh, PlayStation games, I think. Yep, PlayStation 1 game. Midway's Our Greatest Arcade Hits. And this has a selection of games. Has the It has the game that I wanted, and that's the only one I wanted for. And it was Paperboy. I got that on other formats. But I wanted it on PlayStation 1. Crystal Castle, Millipede, Marvel Madness, Road Blasters, Gauntlet, and many others. But I wanted it for the Paperboy. Oh, it's got the front sleeve. It's got the massive thick book. And it's got the disc. A few finger marks, not bad. The poster could have saved themselves a fortune by getting rid of the book. But they pushed it intact, so it's alright. The PlayStation 1 collection is growing. Another PlayStation 1 game is the classic Tekken 2. I played this with my mates for blooming months. When I was in work, the guy on the doll, sitting in the flat in work, used to play all day long. He was the master. Nobody could beat him. Then we all used to finish work and we used to spend all the night then playing this game, trying to beat him. And we couldn't beat him. I loved this game growing up. When I first started working so late, that's the game we used to play. It brings back loads of memories. In my mind, it's the best Tekken game. Tekken 2. Let's see if it's complete. It's got the front sleeve. It's actually got some bubble wrap inside. That's a bonus. It's got the booklet, which looks in immaculate condition. Booklet. And it's got the disc. Let's have a look at the disc. Uh, scratched to hell. But you expect the games to be scratched because they've been played so much. The light scratches, so it should play. That's Tekken 2. Classic. Last up, well, I think I'll keep this for another video because I know what's in this. I'll keep this for another video because this video is getting on too long anyway. So, next video will be this one. See you later, guys. Bye.